All right, guys. One second. Okay. So, uh, the most basic move you can learn after the cartwheel is, of course, the no-handed cartwheel, also known as the aerial. This is how I do it. All right, I learned on my own, so don't critique so much. This is how I do it. It works both ways for me. Yeah. So I launch off my left foot. Some of you might launch off your right. I'll demonstrate both ways though. So this is how it should look. If you're launching off your left, I'm gonna do no step. I recommend you guys doing a few steps or maybe even a run before you go into it. So here we go. Left side. All right, that was the left side. Now the right side. Watch, push off the right. That was clearly not as clean as the left side, but same thing. All right, prerequisite, you have to know this. Cartwheel. Cartwheel. Lay up, hand down. This leg pushes up. This leg just keeps going in a full circle. And this hand will catch as this leg pushes up. Push, catch, 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 catch. Again, cartwheel. Hand, leg, leg, hand, leg, hand, leg. So that's in order of what comes off the ground and touches the ground. So again, leg, hand, leg, hand, leg, hand, leg, hand at the same time pretty much. So, I'll try to do this. If you don't know the cartwheel, go learn a cartwheel. Or, I guess I'm already teaching a cartwheel, so I'll try to announce what comes off the ground and touches the ground as I do this. So, here we go. Leg, leg, hand, hand, leg, leg. So I was saying it wrong earlier, but same thing. Leg, hand, just watch, I'll put this in slow-mo if you guys really are having that much troubles with the cartwheel. So, leg, leg, hand, hand, leg, leg. So how I do it, I never really broke it down for myself because I thought everyone knew how to do it, but I was proven wrong recently. So, again, leg, leg, hand, hand, leg, leg, hand, hand, something like that. Okay, so, leg, leg, hand, hand, Bum, 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 bum. It's just like rolling over on your side, but with your hands. Boom. Okay, that's done. You know a cartwheel now. Aerial. Same thing, but don't use your hands. Done. Legs are exactly the same, except they really have to follow through. Because with a cartwheel, you have your hands kind of catching, so your legs can kind of take their time going over. But no, with an aerial, since your hands are not going to be there, your legs are going to have to really just push all the way over. Kick and push all the way over. So again, I'll show you how I do it. When you kick here, you push at the same time. So you kick, this leg is at its highest point. It can't go all the way over unless you're like Emily Rose or someone. So this leg kicks all the way up as high as you can. This is as high as I can go. My hand's not here. I'm just showing. And then this leg, my left leg, will push. So it's almost like trickers and b-boys even. It's almost like doing an L kick or a Nike kick. But then you just kind of keep going over. So again, kick, push. When this leg, this leg, is at the highest point, this leg will push straight up. And then you're like, oh, it goes straight up. That means it'll come straight back down. Wrong. Because this leg is at its highest point. When this leg pushes, this leg, this leg is gonna keep going in a full circle. You'll come back around this way. You'll land on this leg, which is the leg that was just up here. So it's kind of like switching like that. 
So then you come down. When you're upside down, perfectly upside down. Pretend my hands aren't here. Perfectly upside down, kick. Notice how I kicked. All the way up. So I'm upside down, pretend I'm upside, I'll flip this for you. I'll turn this upside down. So I'm upside down. My legs are like this, because I just came down this way. Boom, I'm upside down. This is the ground. I just launched, I'm going this way. This leg, boom, as high as it can go. So the ground is right there, it's like you're it's like you're kicking your head. You don't want to kick the ground because that's going to hurt your toe. So the ground is right here. Kick. So you can catch it. And that's kind of a forcefully forced area. Because you're really forcing your leg up there so you can land. So again, with the big force, because this is how... If you're not flexible, you can still do it. It'll hurt, but you get used to it. So it's not... It's, I mean, it's only your fault you're not flexible, so stretch before you do this. Okay, so as I was saying, we're upside, we're upright again. Okay, just reminding myself to edit it. So we're upright again. Again, down, boom, straight up, straight up. I actually kind of, yeah, straight up, as high as you can go, as high as you can go. Push, boom, it's like, boom. See, I'm already losing balance because I'm already turning, kind of. So, again, kick your head. And then it's a lot easier that way if you bring your leg to your face because your leg will be right there. And no matter how low your face is, your leg is right there to catch. It's boom. And then just bring this foot down. Aerial. So again, slow motion. I'll talk as it goes in slow motion. Okay, so aerial time. Go, boom, kick your face. So, one more time. Kick your face. So as you launch, you will see my right foot coming up. My left foot pushes up, upside down. My right foot is like it's kicking my face. Boom, it touches the ground instead of my face. My face does not touch the ground. If it does, you're doing it wrong. And then my leg, my left leg comes, follows in, plant. So again, one more time. Boom. Done, aerial. Once you get that down, that's, that's like how I first started doing the aerial. So that was like three years ago. After that, you can kind of do it, once you're more comfortable with that, you've mastered that, do it however you please. I really like the kind of slow motion delayed aerial, so it's kind of like go up, hang upside down for a little bit, then whip your legs down, like this, I'll show you. Up, boom. So notice I go up really, I don't know if you can tell, but you can feel it if you're doing it that way, that yeah, you're in the air, you're upside down longer. So with the running start, I could do it easier. So here we go, my delayed-ish aerial. Boom, there, I'm sure you can see that one a lot more clearly. But yeah, sit down, it's making your own. That's how I do it now, because I can just whip it out. That's my warm up now. So it's kind of just up. Make sure you're looking up. Ground, you're looking at the ground the whole time. You don't want to look down because that's, you can't see if your head's going to touch the ground, which it shouldn't anyways, but yeah. There you go, aerial tutorial. I one thing, practice. Practice a lot, practice everywhere. Aerials don't take much space, so just do it everywhere. Do it while you're checking your phone, you're walking down the hallways at school, empty, empty hallways, you're going down the hallways. Oh, look, an aerial. Go. Okay? So I'll show you guys some aerials. Here, here, here.